with another Christmas in July project share. This is group number three. I already know there's going to be group four, so if you don't see your pocket letter in this one, you are in group four, and I think that's going to be our final group for Christmas in July. This turned out so cute. All of them did. I am so pleased with everything. I am so excited that we had four groups for the Christmas in July project share. I cannot thank you all for your beautiful, wonderful work. I can tell you guys put so much time and so much effort into all of these, all four groups. I absolutely appreciate everything that you loveys did and sending them in and I hope this was exciting for you guys to see your work on YouTube it's so exciting to me to go to the mailbox and come out with stacks of happy mail like this <laughs> I absolutely love it but this is group three and we're gonna go row by row this group is absolutely beautiful again all the colors just kind of pull together it's just it's just amazing to me how that happens and I say that almost in every video but it truly is like wow this 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 looks like something I would make and send to somebody but it's a whole bunch of different people's work put together it's amazing it's just amazing so we're gonna go row by row as usual this is our first row so absolutely beautiful Belinda's Christmas tree here with a little joy the little gold joy oh, just lovely I love this sticker. I really do. I think I know this is a sticker, but I think she added the bling. I could be wrong, but that is such a cute little detail. This is Louise, and Louise had a whole bunch of different ones. So everyone who gets um, one from group three, yours here is going to be completely different from mine and completely different from everybody else's. So that's fun and exciting. This is Norma's, so stinking cute, and I think she used some stickles here. I wonder if that's what she did, because if she did, I'm using my stickles too. I'm learning how to use all the different kinds, or maybe it came like that, I'm not sure, but it almost looks like a stamp to me that she cut out and used some stickles on. That is so stinking cute. And like, that's work. Like, I know that she took time to do all that. That's so, that's just beautiful. Beautiful! And here we are in row number two, and the first one here we have is Dawn's. And Dawn made like a big tag. See how thick that is? It's so stinking cute, and she used some burlap, and it looks like this is a stamp that says Believe. And she used like one of those little stars from the DT, but what a really cute way to use that. It's almost like a charm hanging off the tag. That was a really cute idea, and I probably will steal that for when I make tags for Christmas myself. <laughs> So thank you Dawn and then here we have Raphael's which is absolutely beautiful and you can tell like he crinkled all the paper and made that behind so everything's kind of like 3d and I don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up but the little banners down here that say Merry Christmas he like crinkled them to make them like pop off the page really cool and I'm not just gonna do this because everybody did this but I'm really taken with the back of his card specifically because it looked like he ordered them because that does not look like a stamp to me because it's so perfect but I could be completely wrong but it almost looks like he ordered these cards had them ordered I'm not sure or if he glued um, see like see how he put two of them together so it almost is like this is a card and he put it in the back of of everybody's um, front and I just thought that was so cool that he has like his own little he has his own like little symbol and made just for you joy and care here's his hotmail.com I just thought that was so unique you know everybody else is like writing theirs and using little DT stamps which is great because that's what I do but I was so impressed with this I was like wow I wonder if this is like a business like who is this <laughs> I'm not trying to point you out or anything like that, but I was really impressed with the back of your card. But I'm just as impressed as the front of your card, too. <laughs> I just thought that was really cool. It made me go, hmm, I wonder if I should get business cards with my YouTube channel name on it and use it like he did. It gave me a whole bunch of ideas. Anyways, I didn't mean to get off topic. I just thought that was really cool. And here we have 
Sandy's and hers was so cute and everybody got like a different little saying like some of these have like little songs like she put jingle bells on one or let it snow on another so even though they're very similar some of them look very different and Raphael's too also he used um, different ones in the middle so some of you got reindeer some of you got snowman it just depends but I love that because everybody's is different last row here we have Natasha's and she made hers look like a present with little ribbon I thought that was really really cute and here we have April's who did a adorable little Christmas tree with little um, gold flatback pearls that look that remind me of like jingle bells and I think that's what the paper is in the back too is like jingle bell paper I thought that was really really cute and then the last one in row three is moi's and I was running out of similar stickers was my problem <laughs> I wasn't planning on making these many um, pocket letters for Christmas so I was like what the heck am I going to use for stickers but I found a pack of stickers that I bought from the Target dollar spot so the stickers don't um, look the same on every single card but they all came from the same pack and the design of the card is the same so everybody's stickers are going to be kind of different <laughs> It's running out of similar stickers so I have to make a trip to Michael's to do group number four's pocket letter because I am completely out of Christmas stuff I only picked up a little bit of Christmas stuff to do the Christmas in July project share so I think that's where I'm going today I'm going to make a trip to Michael's to pick up something else Christmassy so I can do my pocket letter for group number four <laughs> So don't mind the different stickers on yours, but the paint, but the pocket looks the same. I think it turned out just beautiful. I really, really do. I love the colors. I love how everything kind of pulled together. I just can't get over how beautiful these pocket letters turn out. I just really and truly, truly cannot. I love that everybody put um, where they're from. I love that even you guys decorate the backs. I mean, that is so cool. I love this little, um, I think this is like a little cutout like tag. I love it. It's the old fashioned car and it has like um, holly all in it. Like you guys went all out, some of you for the backs and stuff. Like I still can't get over that. Like that looks like a professional card. Gave me some ideas, definitely. <laughs> but I absolutely love this. I love that you guys are taking the time to put your names on the back so everybody knows whose is whose and how far it came. I think it's so cool to have um, a card from Pennsylvania and then a card from Cali and then a card from Texas. I just think that's so cool. So I'm absolutely loving these Project Share guys. I really, really, really am. I have a little um, announcement out there for somebody. Um, her name is Heather Ward. Um, Heather, you sent me two of these envelopes. I looked for you like on Instagram and I don't know how like to get a hold of you. So I figured if you watch my videos, obviously you do because you sent me this, um, I'd be able to get a hold of you this way. Um, you sent me, let me pull it out of here real quick, you sent me these absolute gorgeous um, shabby chic pocket letter. You sent me two of these, um, I guess for my first project share for shabby chic. These are absolutely gorgeous and I have both of them here. I just don't know what you want me to do with them. These arrived um, after I made the announcement for the Christmas project share. So I'm just asking Heather what you would like me to do. You included your, um, you know, your stamped envelope. Do you want me to mail these back to you or would you like me to hold on to these? for another project share. Um, I don't want you to think that I don't know about you or that I'm not thinking about you. <laughs> I'm not sure what you want me to do with these. These did arrive after the Shabby Chic project share ended and we were already into the Christmas. Um, the only thing I can put out there, guys, is for group number four you guys can leave me comments if it's okay with Heather Heather I hope you leave me a comment down below too I can use this as one of the Christmas project shares we can just you know put in one of these beautiful shabby chic in with our Christmas if you all wouldn't mind group number four you know who you are you're the only ones that are left <laughs> 
If you wouldn't mind that, leave me comments down below. If Heather, if you don't mind that, I'd be more than willing to put one of these in with our Christmas. They're, it's absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know what you want me to do with it and I don't want you to think that like I'm holding these for ransom or I forgot about you or they got lost in the mail and I didn't know how to get a hold of you. I don't know your your email address and I looked for you on Instagram but I couldn't find you so I don't know if your Instagram handle is different than your name. So I just wanted to stick this in here just because I care about you loveys and I don't want you to think that um, you know, I forgot about you or that I didn't see this. I see this. This is absolutely beautiful. I just would like to know how um, you want me to handle this. If you want me to mail them back to you, I will put them in the self-addressed um, envelopes you sent and I will send them right back to you. If you want me to hold on to them, I will. Or if you want me to add them into the Christmas, as long as group four doesn't mind, we definitely can do that. So please just let me know down in the comments, Heather, and group number four, if that's okay with everybody and what you would like me to do, Heather. I so appreciate that. I'm so sorry that they didn't get to me in time for um, the first project share. I really feel bad about that. I hate that's the stuff that I worry about really and truly. That's the stuff that I wake up in the middle of the night going, oh, I hope it gets here in time. And oh, I hope nobody gets left out because I hate that. I don't want to leave anybody out. I really do care about you loveys. And I want everybody to be a part of this. There is none of this being left out stuff in my group. My loveys rock. They rule the world. And we're together. <laughs> So anyways, not to get all weird and sappy on everybody. I hope you guys didn't mind that I threw that in there. I've had I've had Heather's um, pocket letters here for um, a while, and I really didn't know how else to get a hold of her. And she's probably seeing these videos, these videos and videos, and wondering why I'm not addressing it. So I just like, ah, I'm just going to throw it in the video because I honestly didn't know how to get a hold of you, Heather. I'm so sorry, and I hope you don't mind. <laughs> but anyways... Group three, your pocket letter rocks. I absolutely love it. I give it two thumbs up. I give all of them two thumbs up. Guys, like, this is so awesome. It's just so awesome. That's all I got time for today, guys. I really need to get to Michael's before it gets so stinking hot. I don't want to leave my house because I need more Christmas stuff. And I have some other project shares that I'm thinking up, and I might need some stuff for that, too. <laughs> So there might be a haul coming your way very soon. So I'm going to get ready to go. I hope you guys are having a great blessed day. Enjoy your week. And I will be back soon with group four. One more group for the Christmas project share. Woohoo! Uh, keep your eyes peeled for that one. Thanks so much, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye, loveys. Hey, no, no, no.